Hi friends, now let's discuss sexual reproduction in plants. What is mean by sexual reproduction? Generally reproduction means production of new organism of same species is reproduction. Reproduction is mainly of two kinds, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means production of new organism without any gametes. Without male and female gametes, if the organism is formed, that is asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction means production of new organism with a combination of male and female gametes. So this is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction generally seen in all the highly developed organisms like animals and even in plants also. Plants also reproduce both sexually and asexually. Now let us see the sexual reproduction in plants. Plants reproduce sexually. How? Or in which part the sexual reproduction occurs? In animals, for sexual reproduction, male and female reproductive systems are present. Then what about plants? Yes, sir. Plants do have male and female reproductive system. How and where? For all these questions, the answer is flower. Flower is a site for carrying sexual reproduction. Flower is a part for sexual reproduction. Flower is also called as sexual part of a plant. All the remaining parts of plant body are vegetative parts but flower is a sexual part because it is responsible for carrying out sexual reproduction in plants. Now let's have a look at this flower. This is a diagram of flower. Generally in all the flowers the parts, common parts are like this. Calyx, Corolla, Androsium and Gynesium. Calyx, the outermost part, calyx, these are calyx, these are also called as sepals. So, calyx are in green color. The next one, corolla. Corolla, the second layer of a flower is corolla. Corolla exists in different colors. They, they help in attraction of insects and other organisms. So, calyx and corolla, these two are accessory parts of flower. That means, they simply aid in the process of reproduction, but they do not participate in the process of reproduction. So, these two are accessory parts or additional parts of flower. But now, what are the main parts of flower? Flower. The main parts of flower are androsium and gynesium. Androsium here, this is androsium. Androsium means group of stamens. Androsium means group of stamens. All the stamens present in flower together known as androsium. And androsium is treated as male reproductive system of flower. And next one, gynesium. The central part of a flower, this, this central part is gynesium. Gynesium also called as pistil and it is also called as female reproductive system. So, in this flower, we can see male reproductive system and female reproductive system also. Like this, if two reproductive systems are present in a same flower, that is bisexual flower, if any one of the reproductive system is present in a flower, that is unisexual flower. So, this is what the structure of flower. In flower, male and female reproductive systems are present. Okay. Okay, this androsium and gynesium involve in the process of sexual reproduction. Now, let's concentrate on the definition of sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction means production of new organism with a combination of male and female gametes. Okay, here we can see male reproductive system. This is male reproductive system, androsium, and this is female reproductive system, gynesium. What about male and female gametes? Yes, in this androsium, this is androsium. In androsium, this is the stamen. In stamen, the upper part of the stamen is called an anther and the lower part of the stamen is called a filament. In this anther, a powder-like substance is formed. That powder-like substance is called as pollen grains. The powder-like substance is pollen grains. These pollen grains act as male gametes in flower. So, male gametes are pollen grains. Pollen grains are developed in stamens. And what about female gametes? Yes, this is gynesium central part. This gynesium again has three parts. They are ovary and style 
and stigma the lower part rounded structure is ovary and the medial tube like structure is style and the upper part is stigma so these ovary style and stigma are commonly known as gynecium okay then what about the female gametes yes inside the gynecium these are ovules ovules are female gametes now female gametes are ovules male gametes are pollen grains this is the structure of larva and this is the location of male and female gametes okay so male gametes are present in anther that means in stamen and female gametes are present in ovary that means in gynecium so here androecium produce pollen grains male gametes and gynecium produce ovules female gametes okay here are pollen grains and here are ovules what is reproduction now uh, these pollen grains and these ovules they must be combined if these two are combined that is what sexual reproduction so before that let's concentrate the structure of an ovule okay we are studying sexual reproduction just so far we have understood pollen grains are present in stamens and ovules are present in ovary so these are male and female gametes but how do they combine and before that we are going to learn how is the structure of ovule let us see the structure of an ovule clearly ovules are female gametes how is the structure of ovule yes the structure of ovule is like this this is a, a single ovule the ovule is like this ovule has a stalk a stalk like structure the stalk of an ovule is called as funicle funicle is a stalk of ovule and this ovule is covered by some layers like this this is outermost layer and this is second layer like this these layers are called integuments ovule is covered by some layers they are called integuments this is primary integument this is secondary integuments like that depending on the number the number of integuments may be different so ovule is covered by some layers they are called integuments but the speciality of an ovule is the presence of one more central organ here is a central part there is a central part inside each ovule that central part name is embryo sac embryo sac is also called as female gametophyte so in each ovule there is a special organ there is a special structure that structure name is embryo sac embryo sac is also called female gametophyte so in this embryo sac what is the speciality embryo sac is an organ having seven cells and eight nuclei here in this we can see this is embryo sac in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this seven cells are present but eight nuclei are present how let us see first of all here this side upper side of this embryo sac three cells are present each cell having a single nucleus these three cells are called antipodals and in the central portion of embryo sac there is a cell in that two nuclei are present so this is called central cell or polar nuclei or secondary nucleus like this it is called by different names this is central cell and now at the lower part of this embryo sac three cells are present the middle cell is x cell it is having a nucleus and other two cells on either side of this x cell these are synergids that means these are the helper cells they help for x cell at the time of reproduction like this this is a complete structure of embryo sac or female gametophyte the upper part it is completely closed but the lower side of this ovule it has an opening these integuments are not closed completely they have left a gap this gap is called as micropyle this micropyle is a hole which helps in the process of reproduction it helps at the time of reproduction so this is a hole this whole name is micropyle this is the complete structure of an ovule now we have studied the complete structure of an ovule after studying all these things for the process of reproduction again two processes involve the first process is pollination and second process is fertilization now let us see how reproduction occurs what is pollination first let us see this is androecium that means stamen in this pollen grains are present and this is gynecium here it is ovary and style and stigma and this is a structure of an ovule this is an ovule okay what happens first first process in sexual reproduction in plants is pollination pollination means 
transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma here this is anther in this pollen grains are present if these pollen grains fall on stigma that is called as pollination so transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is pollination this pollination may be of two kinds self pollination and cross pollination if uh, the pollination occurs in same flower that is self pollination if the pollination occurs from one flower to other flower that is called cross pollination okay here pollination completed after pollination what happens the pollen grains present on the stigma they develop pollen tubes so the pollen tubes are produced in response to the chemicals present in the liquid present on the stigma so the liquid has some chemicals so the chemicals will initiate the development of pollen tube so that the pollen grains develop pollen tube and each pollen grain has a nucleus at the time of development of this pollen tube the nucleus present inside the pollen grain divides and becomes two uh, two nuclei are formed and uh, these pollen tubes grow inside the ovary through the style finally the pollen tube enters slowly into the ovary and the pollen tube enters into an ovule through this hole called micropyle after the complete development of this pollen tube the pollen tube slowly grows inside the ovary through the style and they reach ovary after reaching the ovary each pollen tube tries to enter the ovule through a hole already a gap is left inside the ovule that is called micropyle so the pollen tube developed from pollen grain comes into the ovary and it enters into the ovule through micropyle after entering of the pollen tube the pollen tube burst opens and releases two nuclei into the embryo sac and after that what happens here one nucleus is combined with the nucleus present in egg cell so here it is fertilization why fertilization the pollen tube releasing a nucleus that is male gamete and egg cell has a nucleus that is female gamete these male and female gametes are being combined so this is called fertilization so first nucleus is combined with the nucleus present in egg cell egg cell and the male gamete is combined so that this is called fertilization uh, by this fertilization zygote is formed and next one more nucleus also released into the embryo sac the nucleus is combined with the secondary nucleus secondary nucleus means already in a central cell two nuclei are present so that two nuclei and one more uh, nucleus released from pollen tube are combined and this is also called fertilization this is second fertilization here by first fertilization here zygote is formed and as a result of the second fertilization this endosperm is formed endosperm is a food material which is stored inside the seed it's so very simple here pollen tube is releasing two nuclei into the ovule first nucleus is combining with egg cell that is first fertilization and second nucleus is combining with central cell that is second fertilization like this in plants double fertilization occurs double fertilization means two fertilizations first fertilization with egg cell second fertilization with central cell as a result of first fertilization zygote is formed that zygote means seed is formed as a result of second fertilization endosperm is formed endosperm is a food material which is stored inside the seed so with this what what completed fertilization pollination and fertilization completed and after the completion of pollination and fertilization this ovary is turned into ovary changed into fruit and the fertilized ovules are changed into seeds after the process of pollination and fertilization the ovary of a flower changes into a fruit and the ovules that means fertilized ovules are changes into seeds and what about remaining parts the style and stigma they get damaged they fall down and even these androsium falls down and even calyx and corolla all these parts they fall down only one part is left what is left that ovary is left ovary is changed into fruit and the ovules are changed into seeds and after that when the seed germinates that gives to new plant this is what the sexual reproduction in plants